crashing into me. Welcome back to another Geek of What video, and today I'm taking over the best £800 gaming PC build for the months of July, August and September 2016. So make sure to drop a lot of rain and of course to subscribe. Let me know how you're doing in the comments section below, but let's get straight into this build. Now with any build, it's always a case of how it performs. We've got some really capable 1440p gaming and of course ultra settings at 1080p. We're going to be getting some really good frame rates between 60 and 100 frames per second in the latest AAA titles, such as the upcoming Battlefield 1, uh, the slightly older Battlefield Hardline. GTA 5, The Witcher 3, Overwatch, all those kind of games. So let's kick it off with the CPU. The CPU I chose was Intel's Core i5-6600. It's a quad-core CPU which comes clocked at 3.3 GHz. This maintains compatibility easily for all of the latest AAA titles and is a really nice option on the Skylake architecture, giving you access to the new socket, up to an i7-6700K and of course DDR4 memory. For the motherboard, MSI's B150M Bazooka is a micro ATX board uh, which houses an LGA 1151 socket that we need for the CPU. We've got USB 3, PCI 3 and SATA 3 6 gigabit per second all on board so you really cannot go wrong. For the RAM I went for Kingston's HyperX Fury Black. I went for 16 gigs which some may cite as overkill but Battlefield 1 for example and Star Wars Battlefront both AAA titles now uh, recommend that uh, the recommended specs are 16 gigabytes of RAM which is indeed what we've gone for here. There's no point in going cheap and getting one 8 gigabyte DIMM or two 2 4 gigabyte DIMMs for example because that's just going to end in disaster. You're going to need to get more RAM later anyway so let's just alleviate the problem now. For the storage, the Seagate Barracuda is a 2TB drive with a 7200rpm speed. It's used for mass storage at your massive Steam libraries, your movies, your music and your games. For fast storage, OCZ's Trion 150 is a 240GB SSD which will leave you with around about 220GB of capacity for your most frequently used files, games and applications after your install of Windows on this drive. The graphics card I chose was Sapphire's Radeon RX 480. It's got an 8GB frame buffer and has a really nice uh, kind of adaptation on that stock reference design. Pricing of this card has been volatile to say the least recently, but it is stabilising and you've got you've definitely got room uh, to account for that volatile pricing under uh, this £800 budget. For the case, the NZX TS340 comes in black, uh, white, black and blue, black and red, or black and green Razer edition. It's an ATX mid tower and takes some of the most uh, kind of popular and the best features from the H440, which is its bigger brother, and brings them down, such as a power supply shroud, SSD show off area, a really nice window, and this kind of new design and aesthetic. For power supply, the EVJ Supernova NEX is a 650 watt 80 plus gold unit. The 80 plus gold certification means you're guaranteed to run above 80% efficiency and even 90% efficiency at all times. Not only saving you money at the wall, sorry, but also uh, increasing the lifetime and longevity of your components. But if you did enjoy this build, make sure, of course, to drop a like rating and subscribe. But as always, we'll see you in the next Geekawatt video.